now it's time for today's CASA calendar update where we let you know what's going on. And today we're talking about Special Olympics New Mexico's 7th annual Mayor's Indoor Track Meet. Due to a great amount of generosity, the city, the, the Special Olympics of New Mexico, has the opportunity to invite its athletes to compete in 10 events on one of the nation's finest indoor track facilities. And joining me now to talk all about this is Aaron Gallegos and Phil With. Guys, I'm so happy you're here. I can't. I feel like it, this goes by really fast. Do you it have does. this one, once a year? Once a year. Man, it really yep. does go by. I feel like you were just here not that long <laughs> ago. Okay, so tell us about this event. If we um, haven't heard about it, have never been, tell us what, what goes on. Well, it's a really unique event because we're one of the only Special Olympics programs in the country to offer an indoor Ooh. track experience for our athletes. Okay. And the indoor track at the convention center is one of the top tracks in the nation. So giving you our athletes... We just had U&M yes. uh, competing only a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We have amazing. some very competitive track meets there, and we like to think that our track meet is one of those as well. So yeah. um, it's a really good opportunity for our athletes. Absolutely. Now, if somebody wants to kind of get involved, if they want to volunteer, um, how can they do that? Oh, well, they can come to the event. It's on Saturday, okay. the 20th. And... Uh, volunteers should show up at about 9, okay. but the track events begin at 10, and they should conclude at around 1.30. So. Now, if somebody wants to volunteer, do they just kind of show up at n between 9, 9.30, and sure. then say, hey, we're here, we want to volunteer, or do they need to sign up ahead of time? Um, they can, at this point, they can probably just show up, and if okay. we don't need their volunteer help per se, they yeah. can come and cheer on our athletes, Great. which is great volunteer work. I love it. All right, Phil, let us know. Well, what do you do in the track meet? What do you run? Oh, I, I used to do like uh, 200 meter and... Oh, so you're fast. Yeah, and, and plus I do, um, I do bocce, um, not shot put. Oh, you do? Yeah. So you're fast and you're strong. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Were you good? Yeah, I'm really good. Yeah, <laughs> of course you are. Of course. I mean, you're in the Olympics. All right. Um, tell us about some of the other events. We have the 200. We have uh, shot put. What are some other events? Are they just the typical track events? Yeah, we have the running long jump, the standing long jump, okay. and then we have some sprint events and also some more distance events. So Cool. So kind of a, a everything. Yeah. Now, if somebody wants to come out and, and check it out, you said events start at 10. What kind of events? Are they the running events first? Or we begin we with the running events, okay. and then towards the end of the day, we do the field events, long jump and shot put. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about your experience. Is it so much fun getting to do this and be a part of it? Yeah, it's really cool because when I was growing up, I used to do track. Oh, okay. And so track is my favorite thing. So. That's great. Uh, like, so this is giving you the opportunity to continue that. Yeah, that's right. Great. All right, that's Aaron. Right. One more time. When, where, how can we go see it? This Saturday, February 20th, 10 to 1. All right, guys. Well, if you guys want details on this event, if you guys want a recap of this interview or details to their website, just head over to our website, casa.com. And if you have an event that you want to submit to our CASA calendar, head over to casa.com, click on the local events tab, and then click Submit. It's